this shit I'm talking about, kids. Like, seriously. I suppose you boys are fucking working. The end of that little blanking light of yours it is like disrupting the neighborhood. And you can see it reflect off shit. And your little twenty trillion dollars national debt keeps going up and up. And you're Avengers. You're fucking made in China, dude. For real. And I'm not a fan. I don't like Batman and Superman and all that shit. Because at the end of the day, where does your Superman and Batman come from? Walt Disney. Same place Adidas comes from. A Chinese sweatshop. There, nobody knows. But if you're lucky, in your Happy Meal at McDonald's, which is probably made in China too, you can find a little healthy note. Um, you're 80s, you do you own it? Mind you, you people weren't even popular in the 80s and shit. So what the fuck would you be doing playing 80s music? That doesn't make sense. And you can't fucking fly to get over it. They get over the hype that Donald Trump's doing something. And at the end of the day, he's doing a whole lot of giving China happy endings. Like China taught Donald Trump how to do. And at Donald Trump, did he give China happy endings when he was just a billionaire? He used to be the like it. Here, like in convenience stores, a commissary box, I call it, is made in China. And vote for me over that governor of yours. I told you, you know, fucking thing. Any city the I guess. Oh, get a job here and you'll amount to something selling Chinese made goods to rich people. Yeah. And their foreign friends from Switzerland that come up here and buy up all their shit tax free because there is no tax in prison. Fill their suitcases up and fly back all the way over to Switzerland and London with clothes that they didn't have to pay taxes on because they tax an arm and a leg in London. So that's why it's cheaper just to buy a plane ticket to New York. You know, they get, it's just more giveaways to the fucking Swiss and the Swiss. And, and the, the rich in the day, they're doing nothing besides say, oh, Chinese worker, we're going to make it really good. And, you know, this shit's only in time to do. Yeah. We do play on my other play with people. Oh, there's a new one. So you didn't go to that giant sweatshop and, and apply for, for that job. They never come back in our Okay. Do you rich people have a better feeling? Uh, I, I saw a drag queen on the street tonight. I thought to myself, how come women don't fucking dress up as nice and neat as a drag queen does? How come the drag queen stands up better than yours? And she's not even a real girl. I mean, the drag queen is the drag queen. That may leave me with rich girls. You know why is Britney Spears running around? Wearing Gap and shit. A twenty dollar Gap shirt. Oh, hey, the drag queen's clothes look better than Britney Spears and shit. These rich people are fucking cheap, and it doesn't really matter how much you fucking pay for it. It all came from the same place. A Chinese sweatshop. It doesn't matter if you go to Urban Outfit. Which is not gonna make America great again, dude. Because you're still not my president. And I'm still not gonna make it. You don't even have to fix anything. Oh. W.J. Anderson, or W. and J.W. Anderson. I've never heard you, heard of you kids, but you people would have seen and tried to kind of shit down in my throat. Like the familiar brand. Oh, the one you know. Like the Bernie Sanders you know. Who you've never heard of until you decided you wanted to run for president. Mind you, dude's been senator for 40 years. Not even senator for 40 years and you never heard your fucking name. You know, this shit's in America. Either. So, like, what are you going to make in America to make America great again? I don't know. Well, why don't you start making me some fucking promises? Like, you were going to have Mexico build that wall and pay for it. And you were going to throw Hillary Clinton in jail. 
and I should be, you promised, uh, and you just said, wait, well, I got both feet in the door. Fuck my campaign pledges and promises, and fuck all those people that voted me for me for those reasons. By the way, I won an election. And at the end of the day, shit, you fucking do Donald Trump. And my running for president is just as legitimate as your fucking, um, you know, election win for real Donald Trump. And they, oh, don't forget to recycle. Like, it makes a fucking difference. And send that shit back to China so they can have next year's fucking shoes at a foot lock there and stuff. Donald Trump, I'm still not convinced that you even know how to fix an economy. And you know, they, even if you did, but what the fuck are you going to do? Are you going to sit on your ass and talk shit? Or are you going to get up and actually do something? I bet you $20 because that fucker doesn't do any fucking thing. No, that is... So all you kids that say, oh, I voted for him because I want to change and shit. Yeah. And I voted for Bernie. And look where the fuck that got me. That got me some fucking change. Mm-hmm. Mind you, Crooked Hillary just disappears off into the crowd. And orders fucking Panera because they deliver now. Fuck you, Hillary. Come on, come on. Crooked Hillary and meet me. And you, you got blood money in Walmart shares and everything. I ran against you. You lied when you said if I studied hard and, and got smart and applied myself and invested my money that I would get something back called a profit or a return on my investment. And you said I could be like food stamp President Barack Obama if I worked really hard. How hard is it to dish out food stamps? You, you kids let Obama do it. And apparently the country was just fine. The year Obama was, was anything but a fucking accident. Oh, mind you. Uh, thanks, Obama. This location's closing permanently. And you people lied when you said if I got a sex change and turned into a woman and, and started getting all feminist and women's rightsy and stuff, that I might be the second woman president. Well, you know, Jane, she knew that people weren't going to run. I ran against you, Hillary Clinton, but you didn't know that. Or well, even if you did, you're just crooked and shit. Well, you would try to belittle me and make me look out to be crazy, Hillary Clinton. And that uh, you gotta wear the crooked Hillary mask. It's a life. And at the end of the day, I'm the all seeing eye, Hillary Clinton. What do I perceive you as such? An honest woman? Or a, cro- a crooked thief? I, s- I perceive you as a crooked thief and liar, Hillary Clinton. It doesn't matter what you think about yourself or what your fucking friends think about you. Or what your fans even think about you. They're not the all and I. Their opinions of you and their perceptions of you are relevant. No, bitch, they really are. Keep acting like it should mean something, Hillary Clinton. If, if it ain't have dollars, it don't mean a goddamn thing, Hillary Clinton. I'm God. I'm the one that created this place. And then, Hillary Clinton, I'm dead serious, bitch. You're gonna go to hell with her. And for a long time, too, bitch. And then, and you're just gonna go over to hell with Bush and all them other people. And then that's the guy who is going to be extra godly. Well, not according to me, the only thing I. I don't label Jewish people as chosen people. I don't label anybody as chosen people. And actually, at the end of the day, kids, the chosen people are Muslim, but you kids don't want to hear that shit. At the end of the day, oh, you Christians wanted to be the chosen people, chasing that and everything. I guess what you're not. Deal with it. Because at the end of the day, you kids don't shape up. God's going to ship you out to hell, kids. If you don't listen to my word, which is anything, kids, because I was picked to be faithful over all the others. The thing to be faithful that, hey, you know what? This one's not as perfect as the stereotype image, but this one is more dedicated and sincere to serving God. I serve God. I ran against Donald Trump, and I have established myself as a failed uh, 2016 and 2020 candidate for president. I mean, day with my failed campaign, that's still a lot more than you kids have. I mean, day, you people would steal my ideas and call them down. And you people would uh, discredit my claims. It's not the same claims, word for word, that I already came out with and called them your own and called them brilliant. And they, they, you people could have just said, 
and, and this is why your Wall Street will never fix anything, because, and, and nothing will ever get fixed. Because at the end of the day, the ones in charge have huge egos, like her, and say, like, oh, bitch, give me, give, give me your fucking time on Hulu so we can have the Terry 2016 show. She's like, fuck you, Terry 2016. I got show you down. The end of the day, because... The people in charge at your, your Bank of America's and Morgan Stanley's and stuff are just overgrown, immature, trust fund babies. Those people are not gentlemen or um, elegant women or gentlewomen. At the end of the day, I'm, I would be surprised if all your employees at Morgan Stanley and those big banks even knew how to sit down at a table, at a fancy table, or even knew which fork to use. I bet you half your employees don't. And then why'd you give those people businesses and not me? You know, they just, you know, acting like you have to hear me. But, you know, they, and you people kind of gave us job over me. Um, the Morgan Library. So you people gave the super predator a job over me and called me a slob and him a gentleman. You people at Morgan Stanley are going to hell. Mind you. Those people at Morgan Stanley could have thrown me a million dollars, and that probably would have changed the last day. Well, nobody helped me because then you kids would, and the second I got down to success, would want to eat my pie and say, oh, we made him, and he'd be nothing without us. I, I, I'd rather be nothing w without you people than to have you people send me fucking help when you didn't and stuff. You know,